Hey everybody, Juan here. Welcome back. Today, we're going to be talking about something that has me very upset, but not surprised because last week I was streaming on Twitch when somebody on chat told me, Juan, there is a rumor that Sony is sending out these uh, emails indicating that they are upgrading their web-based and mobile-based uh, PlayStation stores. And in that process, they will be removing the ability to browse and download games for anything that's not supported by the PS4 and the PS5. So I'm not here to talk about that they are shutting down the PlayStation 3 store. If you turn on your PS3 and you go to the store, even though it's very slow, you can still do that. But as of a specific date, if you go to the website, uh, the PlayStation Store website, and try to buy games there, you will not be able to do that. So in this video, I thought that I should be a little bit more festive given the negative circumstances to uh, balance things out. I'm gonna be reading the email because it is no longer rumor. I just got this email a couple of minutes ago after finishing work and I'm like, damn it, it's a lot of these concerns, but uh, make sure to like, subscribe, and without further ado, let's just go right into that because I think this is gonna uh, spark a lot of conversation and I really would love everybody else uh, to let me know. Go down to the comments. Is this something you care about? I think the overwhelming majority of people don't really care about this, but without further ado, let us read. Our brand new PlayStation Store launches on web and mobile from the 21st through the 26th of October 2020, and we are making some changes to the content you can access on the PS Store via your desktop and mobile devices. So once again, this is about the web and the phone. This is not about the actual stores in your consoles. You will no longer be able to buy PlayStation 3 games and add-ons, PSP games and add-ons, PlayStation Vita games and add-ons. That one, well, we'll get to that. Apps, themes, and avatars. The wishlist feature will be discontinued and any items currently on your wishlist will be removed. What does this mean for you, for me, for everybody that is a, a big time supporter of these consoles, handheld and not? The content listed above will no longer be able to buy on the PlayStation Store when accessed via desktop or mobile. However, you will still be able to buy PS3, PSP, or PS Vita content by accessing those stores directly from the respective handhelds and consoles. And PlayStation 4 apps, themes, and avatars can also be downloaded via PS Store on your PS4 console. What about the content that you already own? You will still be able to access all of your previously purchased PS3 PSP, PS Vita uh, content as before. Your existing apps and all that will remain. So for somebody that's already purchased something, this doesn't really affect. And in my case, I actually buy my digital PS3 games through the uh, web store because anybody that goes to the PS3, and I've talked about this in multiple videos, that store is abysmally slow. Like we, we complain about the PS4 store on the Pro and the regular PS4, but the PS3 is just something else. So the fact that they are basically telling you like, hey, you, you can still go there, you can still go there and buy some of them PSP, PS Vita, and PS3 games, to me is a nice way of saying that we're giving you a nice massage, but we eventually know what's gonna happen. We've seen this happen with the uh, Wii, with the fact that they shut down that virtual console, the web store, so we lost access to a lot of games. And my lingering fear is that this is a sign of things to come, where eventually they could perhaps shut down the PlayStation 3 store as a whole. We've had things happen with the Nintendo Wii U across the world, still not in North America, but that could happen. We've had the Wii, and now we have not just the PS3, but also the PS Vita, and that one I was very surprised by because I understand what maybe their goal is. Like right now, they just uh, showcased the new UI for the PS5. Personally, I like it. It's very nice, sleek, simple, and I am assuming they, they just want to be able to say like, hey, when you go to the PlayStation Store, they've previously done a really bad job at just letting you know like, hey, if you go to the website, you can see all games, right? So you can buy a PlayStation 1 game but then you go to your PS4 and it's like, oh, I actually can't play this here. So I would like to assume that is the reason that they are doing this. It's to be able to make things a little bit more streamlined. The problem is that as Xbox continues to support backwards compatibility, and not just support it, but we've seen a lot of footage from Xbox Series X uh, games or, or uh, original Xbox and 360 games on the X and the load times are, are dramatically less. The games look even better, especially games that have uncapped frame rates. 
And then here's Sony on the other side going like, you know what, the, the little support that we have, we're just gonna plug it right back there. And I understand Sony is a lot more about the future. They are about the uh, 4K graphics providing, uh, you know, we're seeing the NVMe drive, the fact that you can eventually just buy your own and, and expand that storage. I've been open about the fact that I love physical media over digital. This isn't even that. This is not even a debate about physical and digital. This is saying that I paid money to buy this, even though we're not really buying, we're licensing, right? That's like one of the biggest differences. We don't own a damn thing when it comes to, di to the uh, digital market. And when we go back to this, and it's the fact that we can no longer buy these things, I do think it's gonna, it's only gonna be a matter of time that maybe 2021, they just shut down that PlayStation store altogether or they rebrand it as some kind of legacy store just to be able to differentiate because I understand once again, like I said, it's probably to streamline, but you know who caused this problem? Sony, it's like Sony is the same company that when they went from the PS1 to the PS2, they put like the PS1 stuff inside of the PS2 so you could have all of that access. You could plug PS1 controllers onto the PS2. You could use the memory cards for the backwards compatible games and all of that stuff. The PS3 comes out and even then they were still backwards compatible. And I talked about this where not all PS3s are backwards compatible with PS2, but all of them play PS1 games. Then comes the PS4 and we get backwards compatibility with a big asterisk where a lot of the uh, PS2 games that you can buy on the store don't run great. Like I've stopped playing a couple of games because there's a lot of visual jank. You can tell they didn't put a whole lot of effort into their backwards compatibility. And the fact that it, with the PS5, it's like right off the bat, they're just going like, you know what? Nah, they did ju just forget about it. And let's not forget that Sony's the one that complicated things for themselves with not just the cell processor, but the overall design structure of the PS3. I'm by no means a tech expert, so what I'm gonna be doing is at the end of this video and in the description, I'm gonna link to a video from uh, Modern Vintage Gamer, easily one of my favorite channels. He makes me sound, he makes me feel dumb, but in, in, in a good way, right? It's like, I listen to him and I'm like, man, I wish I could talk like you. And he went into so many specific details as to why maybe Sony's just saying like, look, we understand there's a, a PS3 emulator on PC. We understand that people want this, but it's just very complicated. But it was Sony's own problem. And the fact that their solution is to just begin to shut things off for us as a consumer, like I know people that spend hundreds, dare I say thousands of dollars on something like Rock Band. They've downloaded a whole bunch of songs and things like that. What's gonna happen when the day comes where their PlayStation 3 becomes corrupted and they can no longer access any kind of service to be able to download those things again? Because when you go back to what digital games are, they are licensed. They have an expiration date. So even though for me, when I read the whole part that says, what does this mean for you? It's like, hey, you can still download your games. You can still get this and that. It's a nice way of saying, get ready. And I'm grateful for the fact that we have all sorts of accessibility uh, when it comes to the uh, new PlayStation Store. You know, Xbox is doing a tremendous job. I think that it's almost like a, a, a way for a lot of PC gamers to just tell us like, hey, I mean, PC gamers don't have to put up with this, right? Imagine you got a new computer and you can't buy the games that you used to buy growing up. The PC market has places like uh, GOG.com where they try to either implement fan patches or their own to make these games accessible. That's not happening with the PlayStation 5. And honestly, I've kind of lost hope. It's one of the main reasons that I'm not going to be upgrading to a new console. Not just because when you look at the PS5, I mean, that thing is a beast, people. It is a beast, and I'll probably get it eventually, right? I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sit here and say, Juan will never buy a PS5. I probably will. I love the PlayStation library. I love the PlayStation. It's like I am basically a PlayStation Plus Wii U channel. And that's why I wanted to talk about this and, and get everybody's reaction. So please uh, don't hesitate to go down to the comment section and let me know if you got this email as well. I am part of the North American region. So once again, the date over here is the 21st through the 26th. 
My advice is if you want to buy anything digitally on the PS3, now's the moment to do so because yes, you can download them, you can browse the store on the console, but I've had a lot of people that reach out to me and tell me, Juan, I bought a PS3 because of you. A lot of my old videos are going to be horribly outdated because you can't buy them like that. And if you've never browsed the store, just, just try to open it up right now. It'll take you 30 seconds to a minute, if not more, to just get to the main menu. If you like what I do, make sure to subscribe, click on that uh, bell, and uh, follow me at twitch.tv slash MrPlayerJuan. I've been playing my PS3 through, throughout the past couple of weeks. I've been playing Mega Man Legends on the PS1 on my PS3. I have the physical copy, but I believe it is also available uh, digitally. So up until next time, thank you for watching and supporting, and take care, everybody.